Thank you, Marcus. Well, our next guest is working hard to help people see the heart in health and fitness. Please welcome celebrity trainer Libby. Is there heart yeah. in fitness? I know there's hard in fitness, <laughs> but <laughs> you are a big proponent of on-demand virtual classes. Why mm -hmm. do you think that is such a good way for people to go? You know, virtual training is just so convenient for others. You have, I mean, COVID opened a whole new door for everyone in fitness. You know, we always thought we had to go to the gym. We have to have a personal trainer to meet our goals. But, you know, virtual training also is, it's not only convenient, it's personalized. You're able to build a community for that. And, you know, you might have different levels that of fitness. You might not have to, like, want a six-pack. But it makes it a lot easier to add fitness into your daily routine. That That is true because you don't have to get up and go and change. Or, I mean, I'm mm -hmm. sure you put, want to put clothes on, but <laughs> to yeah. go somewhere, yeah. drive, look around, be intimidated, all of that stuff. It takes that mm -hmm. out of the game. Right. I, I like love that. virtual training. People just like roll over, you know, and turn on their computer and then there we are for like a Zoom workout. Or if you are going to a gym and you have a one-on-one -on -one app, you can just go into the gym and follow your app. It mm. makes it a lot less stressful. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I never thought about that. Yeah. Marissa, okay. I got to join in on this. I got to yes. burn off some of the food that we consume. <laughs> yes, delicious, exactly. By the way. So your thing is you can do fitness anytime, no yep. excuses. So you're going to show yeah. us a few moves that people can do at home or if they're traveling for the holidays or whatever. Right. Yeah. So fitness, sometimes people overthink it. Yeah, they, you go into the gym and you see all of this equipment yeah. and you're like, oh my God, I'm overwhelmed. I'm just going to leave. Or even at home, you're like, no, I don't have time to go to the gym or I don't have a gym in driving range. So we're gonna show you some household stuff that you can find like plates Love or this. luggage. So let's start with the plates. Paper plates. Cool. Paper, Paper plates. Paper plates. Yes. Recyclable, this is <laughs> yes. good. Mother Nature loves yes, the earth. Exactly, earth. you can yeah. double use, you know. So um, you can either use this for carpet or if you have towels, you can use that on hardwood floor. But I like to use these for sliders. So we're gonna go into a push-up position. You're just gonna walk your hands out into a high plank position. And we're gonna do some mountain climbers. So you're gonna drive your knees to your chest and oh. alternate that slide. Nice. You need some more coordination doing it this way. <laughs> I get the yeah. point now. Yeah. So if you wanted to add it to make it more difficult, you could do both feet at one time. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> or just slide laterally and work your obliques. Ooh. Yes. But what the paper plates Ooh. do, they add a little bit of resistance to your workout. So rather than just jumping your feet back and forth, you're sliding and controlling, which works your core a lot more. Yeah, yeah I feel it. <laughs> okay, you've got yeah. another one for us. Something yeah. very yes. simple that we all have done at one point, but you're going to give it a little twist. Yeah, so squats. You know, we can do squats anywhere. I always tell my clients, whenever you go to the bathroom, do 10 squats in the stall. <laughs> now, no excuses here. That won't here. be weird at all. In <laughs> yeah. a public setting, you it'll be fine. You see the shadow here. going up yeah. and down. <laughs> but, yeah, squats, you know, you want your feet about hip width apart, and if you have any knee issues, you want your toes pointed out a little bit more toward the corners of the room oh. and keeping your chest up. You know, sometimes people will squat over like this and you're like, oh, my back. But you want to keep your chest up. And <laughs> if you're traveling, <laughs> do not like fall over backwards. Backwards. You do overhead squats. You know, that tests your Ooh. flexibility. Okay. But everybody can do a squat of some kind. You don't have to go all the way down. But the holidays are coming up. And we're all traveling a lot lately now that the doors are open. And so if you do have your luggage, you can always use this as some resistance. So you can either pack it or unpack it, however heavy you want, and you can just use your <laughs> luggage as a suit, as some yeah. weight. Oh my you know? god! So you can just hold that in front of you. You and really mean no, no excuse. excuse. <laughs> you can do some pulses, then you can hold it in front of you and do reverse lunges. You know, you can get really creative. I don't like to overthink it. Just have some fun. Set your timer on for 20 minutes, if that's all you have to do for moving in during the day, set it for 20 minutes, and then start moving. 20 minutes. It's <laughs> oh, 20 more minutes than I would probably do. Yeah. Okay. Marissa did an hour with me one time. Yes. She can do it. She can do it. <laughs> All right. So office chairs or hotel chairs or anything like that, you can use this in a lot of different ways. But we're going to try a little bit more creative way in doing some tricep dips. Okay. So we're going to hit the back of our arms with the tricep dips. The key here is to making sure that you are driving your elbows back and keeping your Ooh. chest up. Okay. All right. So uh, if you need to take that resistance off, just bend your knees oh, and you then go. allow that I like to that. be a little bit easier. But you want to think about a string hanging from your head from the ceiling and making sure you're going up and down, trying to keep your hips right underneath your shoulders. Up and down. There we go. Yeah. 
I feel like I'm okay. getting so buffed and ripped right now. Like, I got totally it. Got different. it. Yeah. Thank but, you. Yeah, of course. That was so you know, fun. I think that, like, the key is is to not overthink it. You just have some fun. But always, if you, if you have some goals or you're worried about hurting yourself, Always talk to a trainer. Yes, and a doctor if need be, yeah. if you have a medical yes. condition Reward or something like that. Reward yourself with pizza, nachos, quesadillas. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, after that's just where my mind goes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, thank you yeah. again for coming so on welcome. in. welcome. Follow Libby at Libster at I am the Libster. Say it yeah. for me. At I am the Libster. There yeah. we go. Or check her out at lightbylibby.com. And if you enter the code LOCAL2, you'll get 50% off her workout packages. That's pretty good. Yeah. Now,